Hello guys. Um, today I have a box opening for you. I don't know how long this is going to be. Hopefully not too long. And I can barely fit this on my desk. So I got the Wish complete set of figures. I actually got this as, um, I'm going to take the phone off the stand for a minute. You can see my boxes there that need to be taken away. A lot of recycling. Um, you can see here that I have the four pack. This was the Disney store four pack and my husband got it for me. Uh, I did some work for him. So he, uh, bought this for me. Um, I really wanted it because I haven't, the movie hasn't, you know, we haven't seen the movie yet. I really like this doll and I really like the queen. I mean, I think they're all great dolls, but like what the two that I was most interested in out of this four pack was this girl. I'm not even sure of her name yet. And the queen is so pretty. And, um, I mean, I think they're all great. I've seen a couple unboxings of them. Um, and I do prefer them to the Mattel ones. You know, I'm trying not to buy, I'm trying to stick to the Disney store princesses. Like I have a lot of the princesses already. You just haven't seen them because they're, a lot of them are rescued and have not been fixed yet. Um, this one obviously is too new to have rescues because the movie's just coming out. And this poor queen, the from the previews I've seen, it looks like her husband goes turns into evil villain and she's very upset by it. So I don't know. I'm very, I'm very interested to see the movie. Um, there, the little wishing star is in there, I guess. I'm assuming that's what that is. But yes, I loved this doll, this character design so much. And I was just like, oh, I would love to dress her in like, you know, um, modern clothing. And anyway, so, uh, I'm going to try to unbox this for you. And, uh, I'm probably just going to unbox it off camera because it's too big for my desk. And um, and then I'll just show you the dolls one by one. Here's the background. It's very pretty. Must be of the castle, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to open this up and show you the dolls one by one. All right. I've got them laid out here. That was a bit of work to get them out of there. Um, so I haven't taken this thing off of him yet. I don't know what this is, his magic, I'm assuming. I could probably take this off, but I want, I know I'm gonna lose this stuff. So I'm gonna leave that on him like this for now. I'm not really so interested in playing with him yet. Um, I think he looks great. He's very handsome for a Disney, you know, he's a very handsome Disney character. I will say the one thing that was, of course, disappointing as usual is they used the plastic tags and the plastic tags left holes in the plastic uh, fabric where they were punched. I don't know if you can see right here. So that's annoying, but um, I'm loving the detail. You can see there's more holes here, holes here, um, a hole here from the tags. These, this snaps on and off. There's snaps right here. Um, there are other better, uh, you know, YouTubers out there who do unboxings. I'm just not one of them. I really like his shoes. I like how big their hands and feet are. I mean, look at that. That's enormous. Uh, he does have some articulate. I'm not even in frame. He does have some articulation at the wrist, which is really great. I'm discovering that even if they don't have like full on made to move articulation. I'm not liking bent elbows with, I love the wrist joints that makes them so much more expressive. His head only goes to side to side because he's got like an old school neck. Um, they all have the snap and click knees and his pants are part of his plastic. So they're unfortunately, you can't dress this guy in shorts, but you could put him in other outfits that include, um, you know, long pants. Or tights. Uh, my Froggy stuff just unboxed these. She had a really good one of that. Also, my doll daddy 
he had a really funny review. Um, the, the goat is cute. Uh, he is not articulated at all. <laughs> Look at his little flap to go to the bathroom, like an old pair of, um, under all, uh, what do they call those? Under, <sighs> you know, like when you go skiing and you wear your under, or you live in Canada, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, so that, um, you know, I'm not so interested in the figure, but he's cute. Um, if he was articulated, I'd be more interested in him. And I know that I am going to lose this little star. It is super cute. Um, I know that the metal one is just painted on. This one has like little recess details. So it's more detailed than the metal one. And it's bigger, I think. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to lose that. I don't want to because I really like that little thing. It's so cute. It's very kawaii. You know what I'm saying? One of the things I've noticed about these dolls is that, um, oh, she's got some paper under here to keep her dress she doesn't have an underskirt but it's to keep her dress um you know full in the box she has these really pretty details on the back and a necklace that will come off um i they don't have any torso movement they move at the hip bend and click knees you know standard disney doll stuff her head does swivel though i don't know why they can't make necks for the kens like that she has really cute shoes I think they're so pretty. I love the costuming. The quality on these costumes, this is thick. This is that plastic stuff. You know, it's like a plastic um, fabric, but it's thick. It's not the cheap, cheap, thin stuff. It feels, it feels like a very stiff satin. And even this part here, um, it's well sewn. Everything is, is hemmed at the bottom on her dress. I really, you know, I can't, I would maybe get the Disney ones. I mean, the Mattel licensed ones because they're cute too, but they always, the pixelated faces, I just can't. And I love the Disney store dolls. I just, I love them. Her braid is like, I could never get a braid this nice in my life. Um, see, she's got the tags that held her on. I haven't pulled those off yet. This goes under her dress uh, and I haven't pulled that out yet. So I love these outfits. They're beautiful. I mean, the design of these dolls, the design of these characters is wonderful. I did not take the tag out of here that was leaving this one folded under on the box, but their hands, and I'm going to compare them to an other, an older Disney doll. They feel heavier. They feel heavier than like the Ariel I just recently got. Um, and again, I've forgotten their name. I don't really know their names. The other thing I really liked about this set was that, um, oh, there's some stray threads there that the, um, they actually have this folded up. I wish this was hemmed, but that's okay. It's actually an overskirt that they folded up. That's brilliant. Instead of just a painted on detail, they did, they did hem the bottom of this and her shoes are adorable. Her shoes are really cute. They have, um, little painted details on the heel here, which apparently are present on the Mattel doll, but not, not painted. Um, one of the things I'd like to do eventually for all of my Disney princess dolls, what is going on there? That is some kind of tied stay. I'll have to worry about that. I'll probably put a hole in her fabric is I would like to actually make these versions of these dresses or their outfits or similar outfits, but with like, you know, me sewing them out of cotton fabric. I want to do that for all my Disney princess dolls. Um, eventually, but that's, that day is not today. So their elbows do bend a bit. They have, again, the wrist articulation. The one thing I will say about this doll that I know is that this hair on the Mattel doll, it's actually like rooted back on this doll. It's just put in with some tags. So, because I guess she has like some braid, like she has some braids here and then more like they're braided close to the scalp here in the character and then they fall down on one side so they actually did lay the braids down on the Mattel doll but they didn't on this one from what I can see it now but when my froggy stuff had reviewed it she said they were just held in by tiny little tags and they are so that's kind of frustrating but I mean I guess you could then 
you could pull them down if you wanted, but then it's very sparsely um, rooted here. So if you pulled it down, you're going to have a big bald spot. So that's, that's like my only criticism of this doll. I think she's gorgeous. Uh, I love her eyes are, I don't know if you can see it, but they are actually, um, they're painted, but her eyelid has been sculpted so that it's raised. It's just beautiful. Um, some people, I, I prefer this sculpt than the Mattel one. Um, I just prefer the Disney stuff overall too. I, I think the Mattel stuff is good. And, um, like I said, if they, if I, if I ever go to the store and I find some that aren't pixelated, I might pick some up, but, um, yeah, I'm just not into that pixelated playline look at all. And I just prefer the, I just overall prefer the Disney dolls for the Disney characters. Um, now I love this doll and I don't know what her name is and her glasses were, um, they were held on by this piece of thread here. See, it was tied, but it came loose. So her earrings or her, I mean, her glasses are not going to want to stay up, but look at how cute they are. I can't even with her. She is so stinking adorable. And, um, let's take those off so you can see her face without her glasses. I mean, look at how pretty she is. She's so cute. I can't even with her. I, I had to have this doll. I like, I mean, I love the fact that she's a bigger girl. You know, she's not, you know, tiny. She has, her dress is really pretty. It's finished. The um, pocket is working here, even though it's not finished here. And it is sewn down to the skirt. Or is it just tagged? It's got a tag here underneath, but at least it's like through the bottom. So I, so you can untag those. I'm probably just going to leave them. Um, I just love the details of these costumes with the little, uh, I don't know what this is, a little ruffle sleeve here and then the undershirt. It, so I would love to make her a kirtle and a, an apron that like actually, like I want to make these, these kinds of outfits myself as well. I like this, but I would love to make her something similar, uh, myself and put it on her. Um, plus, I want to see her dressed in street clothes. I mean, she's just so stinking adorable. And she clearly has, I forgot, I don't know what I did with her cane already. I've already lost it. That's great. Um, she comes with a cane, so she's got some kind of a disability, but doesn't, you know, some kind of walking disability. I'll be interested to see. Yeah, I've already lost it. We'll have to find it. Um, I'll be interested to see in the movie what that issue is for her that she overcomes, that she lives with. Um, here's that thread. She has a little cute little bow in her hair. And I don't know why this isn't just pulling out. I don't want to pull her hair out with it. So let's actually be careful and not just yank Karen. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if I found, I might buy, I, so when I say I did work for my husband, I actually did like graphic design work for him and some web tech work for him. And that's, so instead of paying me in cash money, sometimes he pays me in dolls, um, which I think is a sweet deal. And, um, I, like I said, I, I wouldn't have bought, this was set was a hundred dollars, which makes each one of these dolls $25 each, which is a pretty damn good price. It's the same price as their regular Disney store stuff, um, singles, but I just thought I might as well go ahead and you can see he's paying. <laughs> he, I might as well go and go ahead and get the four pack. Um, but I, if I ever, I would love to have this queen doll separate and maybe her separate, like, because, um, I would love to dress her, all of them. I'd love to dress in street clothes, but I'd also like to have a version, um, you know, in their costumes or in something medieval, looking. Um, so tell me if you guys are going to, if you collect Disney dolls, what are your thoughts on these guys? Are you going to go for, are you going to get any of these? Oh, and I did want to compare them to, um, to the older, the older dolls. Now I know that they've, I've, I haven't seen it myself, but I keep seeing things online saying, God, both of my nails are broken on this side. What happened? 
why are both of my nails split? I'm going to have to cut. This one's fine. But this one's really low. What happened? What did I do? Uh, yeah, that sucks. This is why I don't grow out my nails because I have really brittle thin nails and, uh, yeah, you can tell the difference between left and right. Anyway, whatever. Um, I know that they have like a new sculpt and a new, they, I keep seeing that they're thicker because this doll is really, really small and I have only older, uh, aerials and they just feel this one just feels so much heavier than this girl, which I find very interesting. You can also see the hands and the are much bigger. The feet are way bigger. Um, I don't have any of the Encanto dolls, so I can't compare with those guys. Um, I, I I don't know. Their eyes, her eyes are about as big as hers, but then these two girls have much smaller eyes. I wonder why that is. Um, I mean, they're different shapes, but you can see that they're as wide and, you know, they're just, they're more as cartoony, but these are more, they're still cartoony, but they're a little bit more realistic sized. So I don't know. That's very interesting. Again, I don't know what this girl's story is, but I just love her so much. I can't with how cute she is. And um, I think she's beautiful. Again, I don't know anything about these dolls as far as their story goes. So I'm hoping the movie's really good. And um, I'm going to say goodbye now. Let me know if you're going to get any of these dolls. And if you're going to see the movie. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.